So hi guys and welcome to this video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the ITV software for your um, capture card. I um, I have a HD PVR and um, I've got the first one, the original one, the you know the one with the uh, blue light. So um, basically um, there's been a lot of videos on YouTube on how to get this but a lot of people have been complaining that the the serial code's wrong or um they're getting black screen so and so. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is make sure first things first, make sure that your Harpark HD PVR or whatever um capture card you've got is set up correctly. Now a lot of people don't realise that these simple things will fix their issues. So Obviously, make sure that that is set up first, and then what you're going to want to do is go into this media file link. Um, now, I'm going to put this in the description, so if you need it, it will be in the description for you. Then, uh, whoops, I just go into that, and once this website comes up, what you're going to want to do is just scroll down and click download now. Now, once you click download, it will appear in your download section, and then this file will appear. Now, once it once it's come, um, because obviously this is for Mac users, you're just gonna want to open it and double click ITV. And once you've done that, it will ask you to set up everything. Now, ignore the um. Ignore the serial that comes with it and use this serial number here. Just um, if I go onto the, I'll show you the ITV setup just to show you how it will look. So you'll go into next. I'm from the UK. Um, HC as you can see, Harpog HD PVR next, and then I'm just gonna blur out my name because I don't want um anyone to see that because um you know Facebook and security reasons and uh, um as you can see um this serial number matches the one that I have presented. Then you're gonna want to click next, set it up as it's set up on your um. Um, how you've set it up. So I'm using component because that's what the HD PVR uses. Doesn't use HDMI, and I'm using the RCA. So um, I just click next, and then I've enabled the blue right ring. So when it's recording, that will appear. Um, I'm gonna leave that switched off, and I'm using PAL because I'm from the U um the UK. So if you're using, if you're from the USA or you know any those kind of regions, um, just double check, just Google it, and then um, click um which one that suits you. So then you're gonna click next, and then I've ticked it so that when the Harpog HD PVR is on and the PS3 is on and the USB is in my Mac, that the ITV software package uh, software will um, appear automatically so you're going to want to click next and then you could create account if you want click next and then click next again and then again I'm going to blur out my name and then I'm just going to skip the registration click finish now what might happen will um, there will be a update it will say do you want to update Please make sure that you don't update because what will happen is when you update it, it will then um, say, oh, that serial code is incorrect. And if that's the case, what you'll have to do is install, uninstall everything and then repeat this process. But bear in mind that if you do update it and it does manage to work for some reason, the this, TV, this screen, as you can see here, will be black. And I don't think there's any way of fixing that. So make sure you do not update. And as you can see, I have got Fever 13 in the um I've got fever 13 playing in the uh, background and if I just grab my controller and I'll show you so if I press the start button on my controller and as you can see there is a tiny bit of a delay but that does not matter and basically I did not um, edit any of these 
I did not edit the screen or anything I've left it as it is because to me it looks fine and as you can see um, I'm using the PS3 so um, if you want to add me just let me know and I'll make sure that I add you I think my list is currently full but um, so what you're gonna so that's basically it and if you need any help with this setup just make sure you ask um subscribe like um comment and you can message me via email or via um youtube and that is basically how you get the itv software free and also there is some cool features about this you can go back so for example say you didn't manage to you know hit that record button straight away you can go back in the settings you can change how far you want it to go back i think mine is on the standard settings which is about a couple of minutes or so so basically that's in you can pause it as you can see and that's basically how you get it and like i said subscribe like comment and do that and i'll be i'll see you in the next video and that will possibly be some either fever 13 or black ops 2 or modern method 2 game footage um if you want me to do a particular type of game in like black ops 2 or you know say ultimate team or seasons in fever 13 don't hesitate to ask and i'll make sure that i do my best to upload a video and thanks for watching and bye